There's a box on my floor that's sealed, and that can only mean one thing. The memory module for my PS2 has come in. Let's see what we got here. Is there like a zip script that opens this easier? No, I guess not. see how that works. Alright. Not a bad. Right. There's gotta be more stuff in here. Oh, that's it. Alright, there we go. Put the peanuts away. by minimal advertising space and it's mostly older shows but there's some newer stuff on there too. Okay. That's how I get rid of Comcast now. Watch all my TV shows online. So what we have here is the micro channel memory upgrade adapter and three modules. These are 30 pin modules. Actually, wait a second. <laughs> I think these are 72 pin modules. I'll be damned. Well, here we go. We're going to populate these, I believe. And he did send me some specific instructions on how to install this. Um, I had never done a memory upgrade on a PS2 before, so I, um, I greatly appreciate the advice he had given me. So the goal here is to populate this card. Um, I can't fully populate it. Obviously, I only have three adapters or three memory chips. Let's see. Here's the email he sent me. Brandon, I mailed the memory expansion board in three memory modules. One 4 meg and one 2 meg. Expect it Wednesday. That's today. So he told me to download the latest reference disk, which I've done, and copy them the ADF files to the disk, which I've done. And here's the reference disk. This is actually the original one, but it's the newest one I have, but that's okay. Um, install memory as follows. Um, put all these ADFs onto the reference disk at above. Next, put one of the two meg modules on the system board. Install the four megabyte module into slot J1 on the expansion adapter. So, I'm not really sure which one is which. Oops. So he sent me, alright, so if he sent me two 4 megabytes and one 2 megabyte, then. Or is it one 4 megabyte? One 4 meg and two 2. So these are the 2s and that's the 4. And he wants me to put one of the two meg modules on the system board. I can't do that because I don't have a slot that'll accept it. Install the four meg into slot J1. Okay, we'll do that. Where's J1? Here's J1. And insert the other in J2. PS2s are very flaky, so you have to be very careful when you're doing upgrades like this. Um, here's the deal. I don't have a 72 pin slot on my logic board, so I'm just going to go ahead and put both 2 meg modules on this board and see what happens. I've already got 2 megabytes on the system, or in the system itself, 
and that will give me a total of, um, if it works properly, uh, I should have about 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should have like 10 megabytes. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. Come on, get in there. Oh, wait. Pop open the system. See what happens. Gotta find the right key here. There it is. Unlock it. And it has this handy little coin shaped piece of wafer, and that conveniently works to loosen up these larger screws, and then you can just them up by hand. Smell that nice, fresh, clean, brand new PS2 interior. On my logic board, I have two spots for a plug-in module. Here's one. This is my existing 2 megabyte memory card. This is original. Um, I'll put that right back where it came from. But I have no 72 pin slots in this logic board anywhere. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put the other card in the system on the logic board like he tells me to. So I guess I'm just not going to do that, right? Oops. And the handle fell down. <laughs> put this back in where it came from. Alright. Yeah, I'm not really sure what, what he intends me to do here. So, whatever. Alright. Let's put the card in. Ow. First thing you want to do is loosen up a... Oh wait, where does this card go? Well, I think I'll put it down in the lower slot here. So I'm going to take out the lower slot cover. I'm going to need my screwdriver for that. Because this thumb screw is really tight. Maybe I can use this. Or not. PS2 slot covers look like. They simply slide in place and then they actually screw in towards the base. The card's going to go in just like so. Loosen this up a little more and slide it in. That is the first time a card has ever been inserted into this slot, ever. And we'll just hand tighten it. And let's see what's going to happen. Stay tuned for second, for, I'm sorry, for the second half of this video where we actually turn it on and see if it works. See you then.